Good morning, Year Six. Today in English, we are going to be thinking about conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is one in which one thing depends on another. They are used to make predictions or explore possibilities. They are concerned with things that will, might, should, or could happen. If conditional sentences often contain the connective if, or sometimes they contain the words unless, providing or provided, as long as, or when. Conditional sentences can also refer to imaginary situations. What might have been? I would help you if I could, but I can't. What would you do if you were in my place? If the weather had been sunny, we could have gone to the beach. Modal verbs very important when it comes to conditional sentences. So certain verbs are often used in conditional sentences and these verbs are called modal verbs. They are usually used with other verbs and not on their own. Must and ought. Can and could. May and might. Will and would. Shall and should. So they're used in pairs. So here's some sentence starters and in a little while I want you to pause the video and I want you to complete these sentences that contain modal verbs. I can help you if you should have we might go I wouldn't do you ought to eat. She will be late. Now I want you to pause the video and I want you to complete those sentences. Moving on. I want you to think now of some sentence endings for these conditional sentences. If I always do my homework, I should. If my mum wins the lottery, we might. If I were Justin Bieber, I would. If I were David Beckham, I could. Pause the video, complete your sentences. Moving on. In the book, Tom's Midnight Garden, the author, Philippa Pierce, uses conditional sentences to show how Tom tries to make sense of what has happened. Had it been a dream? Another possible explanation occurred to him. Ghosts. That was what they could have all been. Ghosts, indeed. If it were haunted at, at the hall, was over haunted. Ghosts. Tom doubtfully put his hand up out of the bedclothes to see if his hair was standing on end. It was not. And that's all for today. Very short session on conditional sentences. Make sure that you've completed all of those sentences and that you've emailed it to your teacher or submitted it on Class Dojo. See you soon.